Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about managed properties and the importance of those. As you see, I have a bunch of contacts here in the HR department, and it's important to know what you can use for searching. So if I search for, let's say I search for Lena, then I find Lena and only Lena, right? But if I search for sales, you see I find the people that are in the Contoso department sales. But if I scroll down a bit, there you see I get IT people also. When I search for sales, I search for somewhere in all those fields, there is mention of the word sales. So that's how searching works in general. If I want to search for the people where the Contoso department is sales, I can do that too, but that's a lot more tricky. Let me show you that. I'm gonna go into site settings and find the schema. And if I search for department here, you see there are 700 managed properties here. If I search for department, I didn't even spell that right, there we go. I find the department field, which is part of the user profile information. And I find this, the tax Contoso department. So that's a taxonomy called Contoso department. So if I click on that, I'll go into the edit. There's nothing that I can edit here. Some of these properties can be edited in the SharePoint um, administration center. But that's not what I wanna do right now. What I wanna do is just select this part here, just copy that. And I'm gonna to go to back to the consultant list and show you how I can use that information. So now if I paste that and then do a colon sales, I can search on department equals sales, but I'd need to figure out the proper name for that managed property. All right, so I'm gonna search for IT and you see that it does work. And now I'm not getting any salespeople in the list, no matter how far I scroll down here, it's just IT. So that's the managed property search. As you see, if I search for the phone number, if I search for, let's see, 701 here, that does not work. Neither does searching for an email address. So if I search for Jesper A here, you see I don't get any results. And that is because the if I go into site settings again and find the schema, search for email, the email OVS text, you see I can't search for that one. It's not searchable. The work email address is searchable but not the email OVS text. And the same thing goes for the phone number, the uh, work phone. None of these phone numbers are actually searchable. So that's how the managed properties works. And of course you can change some of these settings in the um, SharePoint Admin Center, but in Office 365, it is rather limited. On on-premise, you can change more of these properties. So that concludes my demo on managed properties. Thank you for watching.